Welcome to my weekly review. Do your own due diligence. This is not buy, sell, or hold recommendations. This is simply for my amusement. You're looking at the uh, NASDAQ daily chart in a clear downtrend, making lower lows here since the November 10th CPI number came in uh, and it went up 7% on November 10th. It's just kind of traded sideways in a choppy little chop fest here. But it's been trading below the 200 simple moving average since January 18th. And that's nearly 11 months and only a handful of times in history has the NASDAQ traded so poorly below the 200 simple moving average. So this is turning into an epic bear market. So um, what we're looking for here is a little bit of a run through the 200 simple moving average. And the Russell 2000 did just that, but then pulled back to its 50 but I'm um, still in hopes that it could make another run back above uh, through that level. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. The uh, S&P 500 looks pretty similar to the Russell where it traded above the 200 and then pulled back. This one's uh, holding its 21, the simple moving average. The leading index, which is a little worrisome, is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which ripped right through its 200. And that's what we want to see here. And it's still 3.1% uh, above the 200 simple moving average. And I must include the MDY or else Christian Frommertz at uh, Tribeca is going to get all over me. Christian, it's still above the 200 here, barely three tenths of a percent, but hanging on. So that's something to watch uh, going forward. I'm just going to take a look at a few groups here. The solar group has been holding up pretty well for a long, long time. It's done really well. In phase is one of the leaders in this group. And you can see that it, um, I tried to break out of a base here, and then on Monday was up uh, 339. The next day, Tuesday, down to 304. You need Dramamine to hold this stock. This thing is really uh, swinging wildly. Um, what I do is just hold a smaller position. Don't even look at it. Don't bother with it. And uh, hopefully it's going to uh, break out here pretty soon. Uh, First Solar is one that uh, had a really bad week here. Look at this, it was down 13% uh, yeah, off its high and down more than 10% last week. Looks like it has a date with its 50 here. So what I would do is just wait for the bounce, wait for the bounce on this one. This is uh, Shoals, this one broke out on earnings. Looked like it was gonna run higher and then it you know reversed and it backpedaled like Deion Sanders here and uh, went back to its 50 as they did a, a an offering. And uh, so, uh, Maybe uh, it'll bounce here off the 50. We'll see. Uh, Air is another one. A lot of eyeballs on this one for good reasons. Got this nice chart pattern, a cup of the handle, and uh, holding above its 21 here. But it's tough to make traction in this market. Even in the strong solar group, these uh, are struggling. The um, the contract manufacturers here, Sanmina, this is the number three group. Uh, this one undercut the low of the breakout day of uh, 62.51, it undercut that on Friday at 61.81. So conventional wisdom is it'll come back and fill this gap, which is uh, 59.18 on November 7th on the breakout there. So we'll keep our eyeballs on San Mina. Uh, great company, great leadership. And uh, we'll see if they can deliver a couple more quarters of uh, solid earnings. Jabil, this is another leader in that group. You can see it broke out. Now it's um, riding higher. Uh, respecting its uh, 10 EMA, which is what you want to see. Flex is another one in the group. Broke out. We had this one on uh, at MC Stock Charts, and uh, this one is uh, trending higher. Way extended now, though. Wouldn't even think about uh, this. 3.5% uh, above its 10 EMA, which is extended in this, this type of market. Biotech is one of the areas that I really like. Uh, CPRX, and people are getting impatient with this one because it's not running, but it went from 12 to 18. Okay, it had a 50% gain, and now it's just retracing a little bit, still holding above its 21 and forming this long, elongated handle. And that, that could uh, take a few more weeks here to play out. We'll have to wait and see. Vertex, I like looking at the weekly chart here because it just shows this, you know, two-year consolidation period, then this little flat base, and now it's just kind of it's like a snail just crawling away from its base here. Uh, good long-term hold. Uh, I want to take a look at the, uh, the the penthouse and the outhouse. Here's the penthouse, the biotech sector. This one was up, you know, 165% in a 
weekday and only 175% on the week. So they're enjoying the penthouse view at Prometheus. And the outhouse belongs to uh, Mirati, which uh, had a terrible week. And uh, sorry if you're long in this stock. 73% off its 52-week high and down as sharp 57% last week. Ouch, that hurts. I want to take a look at some gaps because, you know, they and often uh, give you a tell for the market, you know, gaps, leading stocks, gap higher and run uh, like Forrest Gump, like Gilead is doing here, gapped higher and just running uh, with its um, 10 EMA. You can take a look at the weekly on this one, man. Look at this breakout and run. This thing pays a 3.3% yield too. It's got nice cash flow, return on equity, good balance sheet. Uh, Gilead looks pretty solid on that breakout. Ross stores, retail um retail apparel and this one uh gap tire and it's uh pulled back here to its 10 ema so that one is holding its gains which is what you want to see fico fair isaac this is a computer software financial gap tire pulled back to the 10 ramped again pulled back to the 10 so as long as it's getting supported at the 10 you got to like that one uh nvo Novo Nordisk, and this is a Denmark company that uh, is a diabetes play. You can see it broke out here, pulled back to the 10, and it's just been running uh, hard. Again, another Forrest Gump stock. And um, I'm going to take a look at some of the ones that are on the downside. San Mina, I mentioned, was one of them. Gap tire, then undercut the low of the, uh, the breakout day. So that is what you don't want to see. ACDC, this one's on a highway to hell after the breakout. Now slice is 50. See you later. And these oil and gas stocks, man, they just, yeah, they look like a real tired trade here. I think you're trying to get the last uh, 10%, and that's where you get burned. This one pulled back to its 50 after the breakout. Still above the uh, low of this day, which was uh, 2689. 26.95 barely hanging on there. Um, Ryder, another one broke out, pulled back to the 50. That's what you don't want to see. These uh, failed breakouts, you want to see them ramp higher. Same thing with Raymond James uh, Financial Institution returned, uh, you know, ran up and then diving like Greg Luganis on its way down. I want to just take a look at some random stocks here, not belonging to a theme. Uh, Celsius here. Uh, top stock. I want to take a look at the weekly. You can see the consolidation period here. In one week, it was flat. Was it down 3% last week? Not bad. A little bit of a pullback, trading near that standard buy point. Uh, it's got a, that Pepsi bid in it, you know, and Pepsi can always come back and take another bite of that one. So I would not be short that stock. Here's Elf. This one broke out in the summer, ran hard, been minding its uh, moving averages. I'm hoping for a pullback to the 21 and a bounce so uh, I can pounce on that one. Here's Crocs, the greatest uh, ugly shoe ever made. Scott St. Clair talks about uh, buying stocks that uh, make things you can drop on your feet. Well, how about things you can wear in your feet, Scott? This one broke out, ran from 66 to 104, now pulls back to its 10 EMA and holding its gains between 90 and 100. That looks pretty darn good. Pi, we make a lot of jokes about Pi. It broke out and it's holding its gains. Uh, yeah, leading a semiconductor fabulous stock. And the last one, the computer hardware, this data center uh, company, super microcomputer, nice breakout holding its gains here in a pretty tough tape. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, never give up. Keep the faith. Stay positive. I've never seen a successful pessimist. So uh, hang in there, folks.